welcome back, I'm Marty the Box Hunter. Very special video today. This video will be going over James Spence authentication, kind of explaining to you the different cards, uh, where you can find uh, who signed your item, because not every signature is the best signature. There, I have so many signatures that sometimes I forget who signed something, so I have to go to SpenceLOA.com and look it up look up the card number and everything. So I'm going to kind of explain it to you. I've had a few of my viewers and a few of my followers on my Facebook page hit me up and ask me simple little questions like that. So I felt obliged to make a video on it and teach those who don't know. Like I said, if you're new to the game, you're new to the autographs, and you just don't know, uh, maybe this video will help you uh, learn a little bit and you can take it and pass it on to someone else. So like I said before, James Spence Authentication, it is my number one go-to. It's the world leading uh, authenticator in the world. Um, I highly have 100% trust in this company. It is a family oriented company. They've been around for many, many years. Um, so let's get into it. Enough of me blabbing. Now before, before anything, before we get into anything, I'm not an expert, I'm not a professional, and I am not an authenticator. This is just based off what I know, my knowledge and experience. So take this, put it in your tool bag as a collector, and go forth. <laughs> so let's go with, uh, let's say you bought a new autograph, you see the James Spence authentication sticker, uh, and you get this card here, and you're like, oh, that's cool. You know, um, it says, it says, basic certification. And then let's say you buy another one, and you're like, wait a minute, this one says, Witness Protection Program. Now, this is something. This is something I've been asked before. This is something uh, that one of my followers came to me and was like, "Is this real? Is this fake? Did someone jip me? Why, why is it? Why is it different than the other?" So, with that being said, if you've got an autograph that has a basic cert certification, um, it will it will say it on the card. It explains, you know, hey, uh, and I'll read it. It says here this item has been fully examined by James Spence Authentication LLC, and is and it is or considered uh, opinion that the signature or signatures is are genuine. So basically, what that means is that the item that you purchased or had uh, was sent in, and either they ran it through their 700,000 database, which I'm pretty sure it's more than that now. Uh, they ran it through their their database and it matched. Hey, here is a here is a signing with this individual. That's what his signature looks like, and it matches yours. We can guarantee you that it is real. Or it was sent in, and there was a picture of that actor, celebrity, athlete signing it, and they sent it off. And it's like, hey, can I get the JSA uh, to better uh, make the item either worth money? Uh, or it eases the collector's mind knowing that he has a real authenticated product. Me, I do that not so much for the resale value. I, I gotta have that JSA sticker on it. I go to I go to cons and a table, and it'll be too Audi, you know, best wishes. I take a picture of it and I'm sending it in and getting the sticker on it. Even a custom to me, I'm not gonna resell. I gotta have that JSA sticker on it. Uh, I don't know why. I just I just have that I have that issue. I don't know. Maybe it's me. Leave a comment below. Are you are you the same way? Leave a comment below and let me know because I want to know if if I'm the only weird one that I gotta have that sticker on there. But anyway, so then you're like, well, I got two autographs, and this one says witness protection, and this one says basic. Uh, if you read the witness protection program one, it says the autograph piece which accompanies the certificate, was signed in the presence of a James Spence Authentication LLC representative and is guaranteed to be authentic. So that's the difference. Um, I had a, a few, had a few people on my Facebook. If you're not a follower of my Facebook, it's at Audi the Box Auditor. Go like and follow. I keep you up to date on James Spence Authentication. I keep you up to date on autographs, my collection, and a lot of Zoe Productions. Uh, but yeah, that is the difference. That was a question... I was asked because um, the person felt that he had a fake. Um, there's a lot of uh, shady people in this world and they'll do anything to make a dollar and they make fakes. Uh, James Spence is pretty good at making sure that it's hard for them to make fakes. You got the hologram, 
you got the hologram JSA sticker. Now this one is the, the basic. This is the basic one. This is one that I sent in and it got all authenticated. I had a picture uh, of the signing. I just recently got this back. And you can mail yours in as well to JSA and they'll authenticate it. I highly suggest if you have pictures of the of the of the artists, the actors, athletes signing, send that with it. Also, um, Zobi Productions, you can also send in something to, J to Zobi Productions, and they have a JSA representative that comes, I believe, every two weeks, and they authenticate. They run they run it through their database, slap the sticker, say, hey, it's good to go. Uh, so the witness protection, that would be if a representative put eyes on and witnessed everything during the signing. With that being said, I was actually there during this signing here. Now this one, this one will read WPP, which is Witness Protection Program. Uh, if you get a sticker and let's say it doesn't have a card, but the sticker's legit and it says WPP, then you know that one was part of the Witness Protection Program and that someone was present from JSA at the time of the signing. I was actually present there with the JSA representative and Chris Sabat with Zobi Productions. Now, I will leave the link below. We are doing a pre-sale, pre-order for Chris Sabat. It ends January 22nd. I suggest you get your item in. Um, Chris Sabat is a very humbling, awesome guy. Uh, I'm not big into anime, but just just being around him and his presence made me want to watch it. But uh, you can also go to SpenceLOA.com, and that's where you will look up your your number. You'll you'll type this. You'll go to the website. Let me get that to zoom in, and you will type that number in, um, and it will tell you who signed it. Uh, that is an awesome key, an awesome uh, awesome feature that James Spence has because I have a lot of autographs that sometimes I forget who signed it and I have to get online and I'm like, who's this? Because I can't make out the signature. Um, you can go find out more about James Spence if you go to SpenceLOA.com. Uh, it'll give you the rundown of everything. Um, but that's all I have. I hope that kind of cleared the air on some things. I know it really wasn't much, but it was the basics. You know, you now you know what the cards mean, uh, and now you know what to look for. Now you know where to go. That's all I have. Thank you for tuning in. I figured I'd do a quick little video on this. Um, leave a comment below. Also, go like the Zobie Collectors page on Facebook. Go like my page, Audio the Box Auditor, and go like us on Instagram, Zobie Productions. That's all I have. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I am Audio the Box Auditor. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, I am out. Mm -hmm.